everybody and welcome to the Salty Show and welcome back to our Ma Tong Let's Play on Total War 3 Kingdoms Episode 4. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you are, like, subscribe as always. But without further ado, welcome back guys. The unfortunate news is that end of the turn from where we began. Uh, a plague of lo locusts have seemed to have infected our army. Which, is, or well, uh, actually affected our whole faction. So we're now negative in the food. Which, that's not good. It's going to last for five turns. But for five turns, that means we are going to be Obey the heart. losing our reserves. It's not necessarily a huge problem, but it, it's still there. March. Right. How goes my we family? are going to continue moving. It says that way would be fastest, which is upsetting, but oh well. Trust instinct. Um, with the comments in the last episode being very neutral on what to push for between pushing here to secure more local power in the south or taking on Dongzhou, I think the better route for the longevity of Ma Tong's faction and his family, we're going to push south against Lu Yan. As this province is cut off, it would be beneficial being farmland. But I just don't think we're ready to take on Dong Zhou just yet. He still has a lot of provinces, and it doesn't seem like he's struggling any yet. But other news, Fu Gan here has been promoted to the, uh, I forget what it is, the Chief of Records to try to calm his ire for higher court promotions. Out. We are... There was a notification somewhere. We have two building notifications. Oh, they're both in Jian. We have 1,100. Food is reducing. Supply shortage is going to go down. How interesting. We're receiving no taxation from this province. So if we just don't tax them, do we get the benefit? I'm sure we get the benefits of the building still, because they're faction-wide effects. We're just not going to tax... Uh, <laughs> we're not going to tax... Uh, oh, God. Uh, Taishu, Taishin up here. That makes perfect sense. I don't know why we but would China. tax them, considering we're struggling with money. But that, being, that means that province is going to be A-OK -okay for a while. We could do 20 per turn, 3. Uh, that is going to take a good bit of our army out. The ultimate goal, though, is we're going to push on Lu Yan. So we are going to... I think we're going to save our money, skip a couple more turns, get through the Plague of Locusts, and eventually Ma Tong will move through the abandoned Jaming Pass. Which, we do need to cancel our military access with Lu Yan, unfortunately. Welcome. Come in. Yes, issue the declaration. Three turns, actually, until we can break that. So, unfortunately, we can't do anything just yet. But we will break that. It does give us some time to stabilize the kingdom we have right now. Welcome back, everybody. A couple turns have gone by. Some events... We are still moving forward with the plague and struggling with food. But public order is stabilizing in most regions. We're not. We're neutral in our capital. But we are upgrading it to a large town. Along with that, important events. Maji. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering every name here. But he has come of age in the family tree. Who is Ma Chao's brother. Uh... Along with that, Ma Chao the heir and Han An Yu have had their first child. So the bloodline is growing further secure. Meanwhile, if you've noticed with the diplomatic relationship with Lu Yan, we've soured it as we've broken the military access agreement. And in the coming turns, we will hopefully set up to push as we will need to be quick. But we're still waiting for the food supply to finish and fix. Along with that, Dong Zhou is an ever to aid us in our conquest and, well, make sure we don't turn against him from the back. He gave us a thousand gold to secure military access. But to wrap this up, we are going to choose attack. 
We've already maxed out the commerce tech right here. I'm thinking one available trade agreement really wouldn't benefit us, unfortunately. But, however, the... I think this, the register of land will give us 15 peasant income, which would be really nice. We might go down that way to get some more income, as money so far has been our biggest obstacle. So we need to fix that. Honestly, we need to fix it as fast as possible. But that currently is the update of what's going on as Ma Tong sits patiently at the capital, waiting for the right moment to strike. With the wait over, everybody, welcome back. We have declared war on Li Yan here as Ma Tong's army Caution. and the, is the of heart's a desire. winter blizzard. Lay siege to Baxi or Zhechong. Show them heat! It will be a harder battle than, well, what we see here today. But without further ado, let's get stuck right into this action here. Welcome back, everybody. Standard formation here. And we're going to send our forces up to this part here. See if we can get there first. This way we can hold. These two areas separate. Quick march. Make haste. Prepare. As that Peng Di and Ma Tong will lay in wait. Ready. Make ready. And we're actually gonna need to move our cab up over here. Thankfully, our G guards are unbreakable. Our men have been discovered. Let's hit, let's try and hit their their range first. Looks like a lot of our shots are going a little too far, but the main line's about to hit. Brace yourselves. They do appear to be taking the bait quite well. Let's get our cab in around. That they're ready. With speed. Stand ready. Move out quickly. Quick march. Ma Tong will move in to help the actual troops. To attention. Here we go. Glorious charge. Into this poor garrison. While their back line is being devastated. Nice little infantry charge by the Sergi. Ooh, just smacked him to death. Got a blunt force trauma going on here. Steal yourselves. Make ready. Go, go, go! This poor garrison. Prepare. Unleash fury. Sallying out with a horrible idea. Let's hit the captain here. You are weak. Pop a glorious morale. Morale debuff. And with that, the end of their army indeed. This will uh, stick in the campaign as a normal battle, everybody. This won't be a replay, but let me know if you would like to see all battles of the replays. But this one being so tiny, I don't know if it really warrants that. But let's go back to the campaign map to deal with the settlement. Welcome back, everybody. So with that uh, very swift and decisive victory, we're going to occupy. This shows much potential. Order will spread and throughout. Thankfully, with it being a farmland, it's actually quite beneficial as we need more food. And we finally have it. It's really nice. 
public order unfortunately is going to be a issue to duty. but public order is a issue across the board unfortunately as we've been hemorrhaging money for a minute now due to me trying to fix the public order but we are still working on it i'm doing this the tax collector here as you've noticed i changed the building layout here if so when the reforms come back up i can get I can get this, which will give us plus two public order across the, all of our commanderies. But Peace unfortunately, that is the only thing I'm seeing so far as to what we could do to sway this. And other news across the board, Dong Zhou is getting himself into some mighty big wars. Thankfully, we're not being dragged into it. We had a coming of age of Ma Yulu here, which is really nice, and Ma Ji. There is some competitive rivalry between siblings, but hopefully they can continue working on it. Ma Chao, our current heir, has produced three offspring already. Ma Boshan, Ma Jingquin, and Ma Huing. I'm, I butchered all of them, but they're all three here. And they're all... Wow, they're all three girls. Man, okay. Very interesting. But that is the current update on the political and the politics of Ma Tong's faction. We are now waging war against Lu Yong, and his capital is right down here at uh, Qingdu. I don't know if we're going to push that far immediately. I would like to, because it would give us a lot more territory to work with. But if I had to guess, our next target is going to be Lu Qing down here. Take out his food supply, and then maybe we'll push on him. We will be bordering Wutugu, or Wutugu, which I'm not too sure about that, and the Nanman tribes, but we'll have to find out in the coming turns. And indiscriminately. But no flame can last forever. Starved of air, it chokes, it splutters, and is then extinguished. The tyrant is dead. Yet in the ashen darkness, the avaricious prowl. Oh, sorry about that, everybody, but it seems Dong Zhou has fallen into the afterlife, killed more than likely by Lu Bu once again, and his son has taken over, which I can't think his name's Dong Min. But that was literally the intern I just ended it on. I didn't plan on resuming. But yes, the, yes, Dong Zhou has fallen. Dong Min has taken over. Chaos in the capital. Dong Zhou, mighty guardian of the emperor, has perished at the hands of his adopted son, Lu Bu. War is broken out amongst his officers, all vying to fill the power vacuum. Only you and your ally, Han Su, are placed to rescue. So, follow the story and maybe seen as active. Well, declared Ma Tong. I see. So I really wish I had known about this, but we are immediate. Yes, we are going to save the emperor. I think we're not in a good position for this. We really aren't, and trade is going to fall even more. But we are going to do it. Ma Tong, young emperor comes of age. Crushing the enemies of wine, a heavy population, food in their bellies. Someone so young. Imperial favor. Imperial injury contains the imperial favor. Enemy of the Han. I see. Yes. Dongmin currently holds it. Which we could spend to decrease his favor. But see, he's the holder of it. Holder of him. I wonder how that'll work. Unfortunately, Lu Bu and his army right here is quite strong, full of northern troops. Our flanks aren't looking too hot. Han Su just colonized that region there. We must move to save the Emperor. We're now at war with Han. Oh, wow. Lu Yan is actually coming, marching north to try and face us. Obey instinct. We more than likely could peace out Lu Yan. Let's yes, yes, talk. 
Wow, never mind. Recent declaration. So Matong is kind of tired. Douse is the heart's desire. They will be able to attack within the next two turns. We are hemorrhaging money once again. Nobody's going to take peace because we're at war with everybody around us. How interesting. How interesting. This might as well be a total war campaign at this point. I do wonder... Malcontent leaving for the rebellion. There's multiple rebellions across his kingdom, which is good. What's not good is the situation at hand, which thankfully Wu Shingu here has a stronger garrison. Attention! Uh, we need to go ahead and pick this tech real quick because we God we need that public order. Corruption, more public order, corruption, or... Oh wow, you need a small city for... That's not surprising. So there goes public order, gonna help just in the Do slightest. Not my ire. We're gonna demolish that immediately. To restore order. And she's gonna march that way. As we have nothing that will protect us. Ma Chao has leveled up again, which is surprising. Um, redeployment cost. That's... He's already got that. Okay, good. Good. He's going to be... Endurance. Continue increasing that bodyguard size. Yeah, we're still losing a good bit of money, but... We should get a chunk of it, though, when Lu Yan here turns on us, which I was surprised he decides to attack us and not continue to fight his contaminants. But we have quite the avenue of uh, expansion now, considering we're at war with everybody in the known world for us right now. But the Emperor must be saved, or this campaign would be worthless anyways. Well, welcome, everybody, to quite the turn, as, uh, as you noticed... Some people have rebelled against Dong and Min in favor of Ma Tong. I didn't know this was going to happen, but it plays into the story quite well. But we have ranked up to the second marquee. Now, this is really cool, as this is the only game that does as far as I'm aware, where you can assign points, prestige points, which is really cool. So we have four... Hey, everybody. Sorry about that. As we're saying, prestige points can be assigned. We have three armies being available, which I think for us is fine right now. Spies, trade agreements, useless, unfortunately. Administrators would be glorious. We can actually get having at least one an extra assignment, which all administrator salaries, assignment slots two. We have one more point to give. We could do spies or trade agreements. Uh, let's see here. I'll do one more assignment slot. There we go. Very nice. So we did. I was wondering why we got. We had this pop up as we were being attacked. And I was wondering why, but it's because we got a. Uh, yes. Lu Chong. Oh, that is. Yuan Shu. Oh man, that sucks. We we'll gain momentum. We need to reach the rank of Duke. And so, along with that, yeah, the enemy administrator has rebelled against their former master, and they've turned their commandery over to us. Their former faction will surely think badly, Lady Yuan. So yes, we have managed to gain a new faction or commandery thanks to this turn yes we must destroy the following faction dong min who gone here is leveled up which is always nice you definitely get that we can actually probably assign him this is really nice hopefully we could turn the economy around 
Okay, so we've unlocked Grand Ansley and Grand Commandant, which is really good. Fugan here, I think. He's employed as an assignee. Oh, that's upsetting. Um, okay. So, who else do we want here to be a administrator? I did enjoy this tab. It's very nice. Being able to see all their benefits. Construction cost, upkeep, that's not very beneficial. Income from industry, 27 construction, very nice. Construction mustering, not good. Not good. The public order we literally cannot handle. Fugon, we've been working um, to make him beneficial as a commander, or commandery, so. Decent. Decent. Matong would be about the same. Uh, the, the 25 billion would keep it actually pretty good if we have a lot of buildings. So Fugon. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to cut the video for this, but I'm going to work on these courts here. Figure them out, and then I'll catch you all in a minute. Welcome back, everybody. So Han Su has come to our court in the coming war and has requested that we escalate this to an alliance war against Dong Min and the Han. Which, we reject, we lose it, so I think we're just going to accept this. We're to breaking deals. Oh, we're already untrustworthy. We'd go to negative 17 untrustworthy. Um, so maybe not. We'll reject this. We're apologizing to him, but... We feel we're already at a war, so escalating this to an alliance war wouldn't matter too much. We're not going to invest in any of these, the commandery that they were they gifted us and Dean. Despite it being a full commandery, that's great, but we just don't have. Also, yeah, Zheng, uh, Zheng Zhang declared war on us for some reason. Imperial aid. So the emperor sends aid to our troops. That's so beneficial, that upkeep. So he, he definitely doesn't like the fact that Dong Min is in charge right now. And he supports us. Uh, Gone here is being besieged. The garrison will fall, especially if it's reinforced by Lu Bu. Calling here, it might hold for a little longer, and Sanchi as well. They'll both have full garrisons probably, but we're not really looking to see them hold. Right now, we're gonna play defensive over here as Lu Yan did pull back. I'm assuming something happened in the fog of war. He did pull back, so we're able to push against the Han Empire and take Baxi, the Baxi commandery. Hopefully, all of it. Along with that, elsewhere, I am. We are deploying administrators, which I moved our the wife, Ma Tong's wife, down to administrator because she serves a better role in that position. Along with that, Fu Gan is going to be our next one. Because he is really beneficial, and he's going to go for Wu Du. So that's really nice. Um, increasing our the benefits of that commandery by a lot. With that being said, Bang D up here could be made Grand Commandant, which would be beneficial, but the cost would be kind of crazy. We'll hold off on that. Assignment-wise... Yeah, we've got her doing 30 income. Let's go down here. We are... Corruption level and industry is actually really high in this province. I uh, would love... To, to swap. We could deploy her here. That would do building up keeps. We don't have any but construction time and cost. So we're going to, going to deploy her. Meanwhile, Ma Tong is going to attack the commandery capital of Lang Zhao. Let desire and we will and guide be fighting passion. this, everybody. Welcome, everybody, to the siege map. So, fairly honestly, the garrison, we probably didn't need to fight this, but we are anyways. Our main ground forces are pushing on that flank while we are taking our cav around this side here. Make ready. As they've spread their garrison quite thin. And our marauders and generals will make short work of the infantry. 
Well, who knows if it's how long this the enemy militia unit, will hold. Please. What cowards. But the Sergi infantry are going to get a nice little charge in on them. We might as well keep pushing in. No respite for the poor garrison here. Abandoned and on the border of the Han Empire. It truly is a sad day. Not much remains except this poor general unit. Steal yourselves. Double time. Let's actually go ahead and pull our infantry back out so they don't take unnecessary casualties. But we're gonna sweep around this street corner and pay the uh, garrison commander a visit. And this should be the swift end of this uh, battle. Yes, indeed. We probably could have demanded surrender, but I said we were going to fight it, so we fought it. Decisive indeed. Oh, that is the end. Yeah, they, the three kills, thanks to that G. And, uh, yeah, we ruined them. That was a very unnecessary battle, everybody. But I feel like it's a good way to, I believe, in the episode as I'm hitting at the 30-minute mark. Um... Let me know in the comments below how you all feel about this campaign, especially with how I'm doing Fight it. Cutting out a, belief, and you will be undefeatable. Cutting out a lot of the uh, smaller parts. Man, sacking it was drawing me really nice, but we're gonna just occupy. This shows much potential. How you feel about the uh, the way I'm doing this campaign as in cutting all the boring parts out, or what I call like the filler parts where we're not doing much, and. Let me know about the battles below. Do you enjoy real time or do you prefer the replays? But without further ado, everybody, thank you for watching another episode of Three Kingdoms. I'm having a lot of fun. We are now in the meat of it where we are at war with a lot of people and we are fighting for the empire of the Han. Our goal is to get to Chang'an and we must secure the emperor. He has already sent us military aid. He has shown his support. We must save him from the clutches of Dong Min. But without further ado, like and comment as always, and subscribe as well if you're watching this and you're brand new. Thank you all for tuning in to Salty Show. Have a great week or weekend, whenever you watch. I've been your host, Salty. Peace out, everybody.